Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of The OC Show. This is episode 22. Next to me is Tim. My name is Peter. First things first, there is going to be a live Q&A on Sunday. Yeah, so like every week, live Q&A will be Sunday, November 15th this time, and it will be at 9 p.m. Eastern time in the U.S. We'll have two guests, Dinos22 from Gigabyte, uh, to talk about the Z170X SOC Force motherboard. And we will also have um, Roman, so their bauer from Germany, who is going to be there to talk about the leading CPUs along with uh, Neo. Very cool. Uh, let's move on straight to the competitions. There's a lot of action going on currently on the OC Esports. There's also some competitions that have closed over the past couple of weeks. Um, Rookie Rumble 24 going ongoing. Sergey R from Ukraine is currently leading that one. Optimizing one from Germany is in second place. Mm -hmm. And then third place is Mick J. Clem from the USA, I assume. Yep, so finishing also in a, in a week is the rookie, uh, the novice nimble number five. Uh, Overclock.net right now is in the lead on that one, followed by Overclock.pl team from Poland and uh, Cocotland, the French guys, all year. Moving on to bigger competitions is the Country Cup, our annual uh, World Cup of overclocking. Uh, you could say, I you, guess. You um, can, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ukraine is in the lead there, uh, followed by Canada and Romania in third place. Interesting tidbit: the Americans and the Canadians have a so, some yeah. sort of a you know hustle going on where there's a bet. Yeah, <laughs> if you if, if you lose, you'd have to, you'll have to change your uh, your signature on the forum to say either USA is the best or Canada is the best. This is going to be hilarious, <laughs> no matter what's the outcome. Another competition that is pitching kind of regions again, against regions is the HOT qualifiers for the HOT season three. Uh, so this one uh, is already finished. And um, so right now in the lead, according to the ranking, Hassan is first, Splave is second, and Arsenino from Italy third. Um, so those scores are being processed right now by um, the moderators, so the results will be officially announced currently, current the week, in the next days. Very cool. Another competition, another one. The ROG OC Showdown Round 3 has started as well. This is a competition for enthusiasts, novice, or rookie overclockers. You can win Intel CPUs, Thermal Grizzly, um, uh, Thermal Pace. You can win Enermax Power Supplies. Uh, you can, of course, win um, Asus, Asus motherboards. motherboards, yeah. You can also win some A Asus goodies in the lucky draws as well. Currently in the lead is Nick from Germany, followed mm -hmm. by number two in the current OC uh, world ranking, um, KSATA uh, from uh, from India. And in third place, we have St Stivit. Yeah, and uh, another competition after that where you can also win hardware prices, it's the Gigabyte Target OC Open Target Competition. This this one is quite interesting because you have different categories for different uh, core counts on your CPUs as well as different types of cooling, so ambient two core, extreme two cores, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's all on XTU and Geekbench and Geekbench. And <laughs> um, so for this one, yes, like I said, some Gigabyte motherboards. There's some cash prizes as well for global first places, and there's also cash as a lucky draw and motherboards as well as a lucky draw. So. Yeah. Another cool competition for the month of December. There's a lot of stuff to win there. Yeah, awesome. Moving on to the next topic, uh, Windows 8 and 8.1 and Windows 10 is allowed for Skylake. Yeah. If you remember correctly, a while ago, uh, we identified an issue which affected the timer in Windows 8. So y when you would down clock, your time would get slower, where um, your benchmark score would go up you know, very mm -hmm. easily, very, very simply put, you can you can read the original article on, on HL, but we found that with the new architecture from Intel, uh, Skylake, this is no longer a problem, mm -hmm. mainly because the the, the way the, the, the base clock is generated is different from the previous generations of, uh, of Intel CPUs. So for every benchmark application, Windows 10 is allowed on Skylake. Yeah, and on that news article, you were uh, talking also about some uh, clarification about the engineering sample situation. Yeah. So what's that about? The, uh, the HR about head of moderation, Christian Ney, has made a simple uh, overview of when engineering samples are allowed and are not allowed. Mm -hmm. uh, very simply put, in, in a general sense, they are not allowed. The, the current generation of hardware engineering samples are not allowed unless you're an elite member or you disable your points. Okay, so that's very simple and straightforward. It is very simple, yes. Uh, talking about the uh, community now, a lot of things happened, and I think the, the very first and most important thing we've seen was the PCGamer.com article about extreme overclocking. So this one was featuring VB, right? Yeah, so that, that was a pretty interesting article. It's, a, um, it's, it's a, an article written targeted towards PC gamers trying to explain what goes behind, behind all the 
uh, overclocking all and all the pain all the, and all the investments. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so they made an interview with Vivi, and Vivi explained how much it requires to get scores or benchmark scores at the top level. So mm -hmm. he's ex explaining, you know, you will have a CPU that dies, and sure, there will be some kind of a financial investment necessary to participate. If you're smart enough, you'll be able to sell the hardware fast enough so you don't make that much of a loss. It's just a matter of, you know, understanding how the, how how you the have dynamics to, of the how you have yeah. to buy hardware and then sell it very quickly. Yeah. yeah. So getting attached to hardware is not the right strategy if you want to be at the top. Uh, well, it well, is. It's going to be a costly one at least. It, yeah, it's going to be a costly one. You mm -hmm. can you can hold on to all of your gold and hardware, but then it will be a serious investment. Or you can flip the hardware as fast as possible. Yeah. Get your scores and then sell the hardware on. Which you then you cannot dig the hardware back for future competition. So, yeah. all right. There's also a couple of live events that were going on uh, this weekend. I saw something happening in France. Yeah, so the French guys, uh, the Clan OC members, essentially uh, organized what they called a LAN, which was was actually most likely a bench party. Uh, they uh, had it was an overclocking LAN without LAN enabled <laughs> on any of the motherboards. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> they they play game. We uh, they they had not so much internet because they went to a, a place near Montluçon, which if you know the geography of France, it's really in the middle of France. So, I mean, like, they choose they chose the place. Actually, the, the choice of the place is great because it's completely central and no one ne lives around. So it's pretty much no one could say, oh, it's going to be cool, it's advantageous for him, he has less to drive. Everyone had to actually go there. And they ordered uh, 1,200 liters of LN2 and they had pretty much fun all weekend. And the mastermind behind this event is Wizardy, so we should uh, give a big thumbs up for him for organizing this event. It's a lot of work to do that. And from what I've seen from the pictures, uh, it seemed like a, a lot of fun. A lot of fun, yeah. Another event that happened in Russia was the ASUS OC Summit 2015. It was mm -hmm. sort of an international overclocking gathering organized by ASUS Russia, uh, who's represented by uh, by Vlad Slams, mm -hmm. as he's known in the overclocking world. Guests were Hiwa Hazan, you had John Lam, you had uh, Lauken Lam, who is the winner of the G-Skill World Cup on yep. last Computex, um, and then, of course, Smoke Slams 12s and, and Atheros from uh, from Russia. Uh, there was a small report up on OC, uh, OCclub.ru. Um, they focused mainly on the new Maximus 8 motherboards, and yeah, there were some okay. interesting scores. No massive world records, but pre pretty nice set of solid overclocking results. Well, very good, excellent. Since we are talking about overclockers, I move on to the next topic, which is the Overclockers in Focus series. So last week uh, we had Cloud7 from India as an interview. Cloud7, which is also working for Asus India and is a good friend of uh, Toolius, uh, which we had early on. So this week we are going to have uh, Zolkorn from Thailand on the show. And Zolkorn, he's a, he's a veteran of overclocking in, in Asia. He started back in the days uh, pretty much at the same time maybe Lucky Noob was starting at the time. And um, yeah, so he's been there around, he's seen everything, so he has a lot of things to say also about what he thinks of the community right now, the overclocking scene, and how he sees the future. Should be a pretty interesting interview. Yep. So let's, let's, uh, let us remind us again, there is a live Q&A coming up on Sunday, um, Sunday, November 15, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Yes. With Dinos22, Neo, Roman, you, Isai, I will not be there. So <laughs> I will be watching behind the scenes. Yeah, so guys, tune in and make sure to follow this channel if you like this video and also share it. This is also great to support the show. Thank you very much. Keep pushing it.